When I tell other programmers that I do a lot of work in Haskell, a lot of them understandably ask, you know, why? What is so good about Haskell that it is worth learning a language that is so different from all the other languages out there where the vast majority of software is written? And I have a couple things that I usually say, but the main one that I fall back on is that I love how Haskell structures effects. I think these structures have really helped me change the way that I think about programming, and I think knowing these ideas has made me a more effective developer, even in other languages. Now, you might be wondering, what exactly is an effect? Well, to understand what an effect is, you first have to understand a pure function. A pure function takes no inputs aside from the explicit function parameters. And then the only way it impacts our program's behavior is through its return value. An effect is, well, anything outside of this paradigm. This can be as simple as an implicit input to the function, like a global mutable variable, or it can be something more complicated, like writing a value out to the file system or making a HTTP request to an API somewhere. Once our function incorporates these kinds of operations, its behavior becomes significantly less predictable, and this can be the source of a lot of bugs. Now, a common misconception about Haskell is that it does not allow these kinds of side effects. And of course, this isn't true because then it would be impossible to write any kind of meaningful program in Haskell. What is true is that the presence of these effects has to be documented in the type signature for an expression, usually in the form of a monad, which describes the full computational context of a function. For example, the state monad tells us that we can update a shared mutable value. The IO monad tells us that we can read or write from the file system, print to the terminal, or even make a network call if we want to. By doing this kind of type level documentation, you can avoid bugs more easily, and you can get a lot of guarantees about the behavior of certain parts of your program at compile time, and this can be a real lifesaver. For the past few years, I've been continuing to write about Haskell during my free time, but in my day job, I've mostly been using C++ and Python, and so I have a bigger appreciation for the importance of the lessons I've learned from Haskell about its effect structures. I've seen how because I understand these ideas, my code in other languages has gotten better as a result. And that's why I'm excited to announce our newest course on the Monday Morning Haskell Academy. This one is called Effectful Haskell, and I think it might be the most important course that I've made so far. It really zeroes in on this idea of effects. And I think this is the main idea that separates Haskell from these other languages but at the same time, it can still teach you to be a better programmer in these other languages as well. This course is designed to give you some hands-on experience with the different tools and paradigms Haskell has for structuring effects. It includes video lectures, screencasts, and in-depth exercises that culminate with you launching a small but multifunctional web server. If you've dabbled a bit in Haskell and you know the basic ideas, but you want to see what the language is really capable of, I highly recommend you take this course. In the video description, you will find a link to the course sales page and FAQ. I will mention a couple of special items. First, there is a 30-day refund guarantee. If you buy the course and decide you don't like it or it's not at the right level for you, that's totally fine. No questions asked. Second, if you subscribe to the Monday Morning Haskell newsletter, you will get a discount code for 20% off this and all of our other courses. So I hope you will take a look and try it out.